So I recently invested in the Eagle Creek Global Companion 40 liter backpack and I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a review of my first impressions of this backpack, whether or not I like it and what I will be using it for. So without further ado, let's get started with this video. So like I mentioned before, I got the 40 liter backpack in the color smoky blue. I will put up like a picture of what it looks like online here, but I got this for mainly because I want to really get into backpacking and I know that a 40 liter backpack is quite small for backpackers, but I feel like I should be able to get it down to that amount. I also really don't want to overpack my backpack and bring too much of a heavy backpack because you can get up to 65 liters, sometimes even more in your backpack, but I personally don't really have the best back. Uh, I do have some issues with it, so I wanted to get one that is small enough. So as you can see, it's not super big. I mean, it can fill up quite big um, once there's stuff in there. It's quite small as size. You can also use this as a carry-on backpack. It's like the maximum size that you can bring as a carry-on. So it's super easy if you're traveling by plane and you don't want to be bringing a checked in luggage. You just want to have your carry-on with you. Then you can bring this and you can bring another underneath the seat storage so this one does have to go up into the cabin but it doesn't have to be checked in but yeah let's get to all the parts of this backpack and what i like about it and what i don't like about it so the first thing that i really like about this backpack is that it opens up as a suitcase so it's super easy to be able to see all the parts of your suitcase you just zip it open and you have both sides there you don't have to like go in from the top and start digging stuff out this is where most of the 40 liters will go but additionally you also have these two pockets here and they are quite deep so you can put quite a bit of stuff in there and then you also have like a main pocket up here that can fit like some essentials like some medicine or something like that that you want to have quite easy access to there is also a shoe compartment at the bottom which kind of zips open almost all the way so you can go all the way up to here in the suitcase where you can put your shoes but you do have to know that if you put shoes in this front part then you will lose some storage on that side of the backpack so what i recommend doing is just filling the backpack first and then see if you can fit the shoes additionally here from the bottom and if not then you can just use this for some smaller stuff that you can stuff there and then you can try and put your shoes maybe in this pocket because there's additionally some space here as well where you can put like towels or your shoes like i was saying or other things from your luggage that don't fit in the main compartment and can easily be stuffed in this front bit i think i like to put my towels there when i will be filling my suitcase but i'll show you guys the whole process of trying to figure out how i would pack everything in this suitcase later in this video i also really like that there's a lot of clasps on the side of the backpack so that makes it easier for you to store like additional things on the outside like a water bottle that can go into this pocket that is right here and i also like that it has additionally a zipped compartment for your laptop so you can easily just put your laptop or your ipad or something you can just easily slide it in there and it will be protected from everything else in your suitcase so i really like that about the backpack as well and then some other small things about the backpack just in general that i really like it does have an additional handle here so if you want to not put it on your back and you want to carry it like this you can also do that. It also has the padded backs, so this is really good for protecting your back as well as you can clasp it all the way around your waist, so that's super helpful as well if you're traveling and you need to carry this for a longer period of time. It has adjustable straps, everything like that to make it fit exactly for your body which i think is super important when you're looking at the ergonomics of your backpack really and in one of these side pieces that you tie around your waist it also has a zipped pocket it's not super big but again you can fit some easy grabbing stuff in there and then the last thing that i really like about this backpack is that it comes with this cover that you can put over your backpack it's a lot easier to put on if you actually have stuff in there but i will put it on for you guys anyway so as you can see, it can completely cover your backpack. Um, it does have the extra space for when it's completely filled. The only thing that I don't like about this is that this is not detachable. So it will always be in the bottom of your backpack, which I don't really love because it does take up a little bit of space and there's not really anywhere else you can store it since it is attached with this like little elastic band. 
so that is something that you maybe have to take into consideration when using this backpack obviously you can just cut the cord if you really wanted to but I don't think it's that big of a problem but if you do then yeah you can just cut it and then carry it separately or if you really want to you can just leave it at home as well so that's a little bit about the backpack itself like I said before I bought it in the smoky blue color but it also comes in this purple color and also in black I will link to all three of those backpacks in the comments down below and if you do think that 40 liters won't be enough for your trip they also have bigger sizes available as well but let's try and fill this backpack and see how much stuff you can bring and what kind of trip I would recommend this backpack for so this is what the inside of the backpack looked like before I close it up so if we look on this side of the backpack this one has all my tops in it this is my makeup and that is my toiletries these are some bikinis and then on the other side I have like all my underwear my socks my bras uh, stuff like that my workout clothes as well as my sleeping shirt and then here are some towels like as you can see I brought quite a lot of towels but if you were to go like on a different trip or you wanted to fit your shoes in here instead of on the outside of the backpack you can bring some lesser towels and then this one has all my bottoms in it so as you can see it fits quite nicely there definitely is a little bit of space left but not too much so it just really depends on what you want to prioritize I do have to say that these packing cubes are non-compressing ones so I do believe I could fit more stuff if I had like more compressing backpacks rather than these ones but yeah I think they're great for now so this is what the backpack looks on once you've tried it on I really enjoy this. I think it's the perfect backpack if you're going anywhere between two to four weeks or even longer. It fits really comfortable on my back personally and I think this is really great for backpacking. It's not too big or bulky which makes it super easy if you're carrying another backpack right here. It is not as heavy or difficult to carry around because the bigger your backpack the more stuff you will bring. So like I was showing you guys in the try on clips and showing what's inside there's quite a lot of stuff that can fit in this backpack. In total I was able to fit in the following things. Usually I will also bring a pair of trainers, a hoodie, some type of leggings or a third pair of long pants and a rain jacket but those are usually the items that I would wear to the airport anyway. Additionally I would also bring a backpack that I can just wear on the front and then I would also bring like some type of bum bag that would double as my purse. So there is definitely a few more things that I would bring on a trip especially if I, I'm gone for that long. But yeah, these would be the main essentials that I would put in this backpack. Maybe I would swap out some things, but this was just like a test run for me to try and see how much stuff you can fit in there. But I'm quite impressed on how much stuff you can fit in here. I would definitely recommend this backpack. I think it's the perfect size if you want to go for a longer time, but not bring too big of a backpack. I do have to say that I think this backpack is a little bit better geared for warmer travel. So if you are going to a colder destination, if you take into consideration how much sweaters and jackets would weigh I think this backpack might be a little bit too small unless you're going for just like a weekend trip or a few days then I think this would be perfectly fine but if you're going for like a longer trip to a colder destination then this backpack is probably too small for you so yeah I would just recommend this if you're going on like a summer backpacking trip to Southeast Asia around Europe for the summer Central South America I think this would be a perfect backpack for that and yeah overall I would give this backpack like a 9 out of 10. There are a few things that I would like to change like I would make these front pockets just a little bit bigger like I would rather have this um, like lined piece be bigger and then not have these zipped pockets because I found them a little bit awkward in size and I wouldn't know what to put in there. I would also like to have the cover that is on the bottom be detached so that I can choose whether or not I want to bring it and maybe store it somewhere else rather than the bottom of the backpack because I do think this takes up quite some valuable real estate that is going on in the backpack but that is about it I really like everything else about it I love the color this is again the smoky blue Eagle Creek backpack in 40 liters I will leave a link to this backpack in the description down below as well as its black and purple alternative and then also the bigger size make sure to follow me on Instagram so you can keep updated on how I like using this backpack when I am backpacking through a little bit more of Europe and subscribe if you want to learn more about how you can start saving preparing and planning for your next trip. Trip.